here's a carriage. These uh, obviously are fake horses, just carved out of a metal sheet. But uh, if you look at it from the side, it's it's lifelike. Oops, got a little light in there. But this is how they transport a particular liquid in this one uh, wagon. You got all kinds of gears and it's for turning, I guess. It's old timey way. Oh, it's propped up by that, that thingy. Um, they had a need for these rusty things hold on I guess to, to climb up that footrest doesn't look too stable but I guess I tried to make the seat as comfortable as possible with the springiness and you could adjust brakes I guess at this lever thing it's just to go down to down to here and and then it would uh, it would move and rotate something up. Oh, okay. This is the brake pad. Okay. So that that lever comes down to here to get the the rear. You want to use brakes on the rear. So it's so that's that's a our early form of a brake pad. It get you get pushed, so you'd have to use your physical strength to uh, pull on the brake pad. You need a strong right arm, and you'd also, yeah, you'd probably put your weight into it, I suppose. And there's some kind of a tap, some kind of water. This barrel, it's all only wood, but they'd probably like tar the inside, I suppose. Yeah, brake pad on both sides little step up thing just an amazingly large jug thing for water and I'd probably use buckets to fill in the top so it's pulled by two horses I suppose when it gets full enough and then uh, not sure what those what all's going on here you'd want this strong enough for pulling yeah, and this, this metal rod would make it so it pulls directly on the axle because <clears throat> that's, that's where a lot of force needs to be put. Yeah, somebody transports some kind of liquid. I doubt it's beer. This, this is the Carriage Museum in Raymond. And so I'm getting the free outside tour. I'm curious about the inside, because since I sleep in my car, I'm like, wow, you know, how did they, the pioneers do it? I mean, I just saw something about a pioneer uh, who founded this place, born 1870s, died 1960s. Well, I was born in 75, you know, it's like I wasn't born too much longer after they died. So it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, they, they probably did come over in, in this type of thing. This, this, this uh, type of wagon that would probably have a nice covering to it. This looks more like it's designed to be a transport. And they try to make the seat comfortable. I'm sure they'll let you sit up in there. I mean, they don't have a cage around. In fact, that's, you can open that up. Be enough people have opened it up to strip the screws. But this wood looks old, so I'm thinking that they most likely used original stuff. Um, just so you, you know. All right, so this, yeah, pulls, they try to make, design it so it pulls directly on the axle more so. The axle's got to take the, the brunt. Okay, and then the brake again. This is designed a little more uniquely. This has actually got a pinch. You want to try to pinch. So how do you how do you operate that that brake? 
Okay, right here, this handle. Gotta use physical strength again, human strength. It's got some kind of pounded notch, and they're very crude. Very crude to get into those. And you can see, it's, it looks like it really is handmade. But it, yeah, you, you force it into there, and then this long line would reach down, and, and then you would have your braking action. Um, yeah, and it's just transport. It's quite narrow. I'm surprised. But yeah, I'm gonna guess it's just mainly for transport. This wouldn't be your pioneer type of wagon. So, yeah, they get, they're showing that they got boxes and barrels. That's how they transport things. No cardboard boxes, no plastic wrap. <laughs> they, they had to rely on wood. So these, these cutouts give a pretty good uh, description of what to expect of, of the life. Although these guys are kind of big. I don't know. This, he's, yeah, he's got shorter than me, actually. I'm six foot. Okay. Oh, well, you got to step up on the side there for comfort to get in. Although, you know, there's probably not going to be a stair, stair, uh, stairs in the bottom, so you got a big... I'd have to really step up high for that, that thing. So yeah, it's not a great step up. It's just something that really lets you get in. So yeah, that's two carriages.